Okay, this is a follow-up video. Not too long ago, I did upload a video of me doing an unboxing for the Cool Coffee Click. So today we are doing a taste test. We are going to be tasting some of the Cool Coffee Click's products. So first I'm going to talk about their strong AF. AF meaning unflavorful coffee. So this is the box of basically K-Pods, K-Cups. And just to familiarize yourself again with how the K, the K cups look, this is how they look. Dropping things. This is how they look. So I'm going to be trying the coffee out in their clearly I'm classy heart shaped mug. It is mugged. <laughs> clearly I'm classy heart shaped mug. So it is clear and what I love about it is I'll insert a picture or a video of the liquid once it's in here. It is heart shaped. I love the fact that it's clear. I feel like personally I'm a fan of clear mugs. I feel like you can really see the creativity of the barista whether it be yourself or wherever you're getting your coffee from. You just get to see everything like if you're making an Americano if you're making a, a macchiato you get to see the espresso and milk separate like it's just really cool you get to see whipped cream so i'm very much so in love with this cup we're going to be trying the strong af coffee in this cup so let's get straight into it I will be trying the coffee black. When I sip it down, you'll be able to see the heart shape a little bit more clearly. The reason I'm trying it black is because I want to taste its true flavor. Anything that you add to your coffee, whether it be your sweetener, your dairy of choice, even external flavors, they all dilute the true flavor of coffee. So this is the Strong AF coffee blend. I'm very excited. Let's see. And it cooled down a bit because I'm always, always burning my mouth. So make sure to let your coffee cool, especially if you're trying it black or drinking it black. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It is strong. It is definitely a bold roast. You taste that, but it's smooth. Most of the time with bold roast or dark roast, it can be a little bit bitter, kind of like espresso, but this, this is smooth. For it to be such a bold roast, it's smooth. It actually puts me in mind of the smooth level or the smoothness level of cold brew. If you guys know about coffee, you guys know what I'm saying. Cold brew is a very, very smooth coffee. It's probably one of the only coffees I can drink black. But, but, Miss Maya, the cool coffee click might have did something with this because it's smooth. The reason I personally do not like to drink my coffee black is because it's a little bitter. But for this to be black coffee, you definitely taste the robust flavor like I said, it's smooth. It's not overly bitter. I, um, I am very pleased with how this coffee tastes. And like I said, the heart-shaped mug is absolutely beautiful. I will insert a clip of the heart shape here. If you guys think this video is over, absolutely not. Taste, tasting, tasting. Ugh. Tasting the coffee is part one of this video. In conjunction to coffee, I know a lot of people out there like hot chocolate. We are going to try the Cool Coffee Clicks hot chocolate as well. Hot chocolate. So I personally drink coffee in the morning and as needed throughout the day, especially if I'm really tired, pulling really long shifts at work. But I will drink coffee, coffee. I will drink hot chocolate 
24 7 doesn't matter if it's winter don't matter if it's summer child morning afternoon this is not a season or time specific beverage for me so i'm really excited to try this hot chocolate it is the rich and creamy milk chocolate hot chocolate with sweet decadent melting marshmallows so this is what it looks like i have not opened it yet now of course you know everyone prepares their hot chocolate uh certain ways you can prepare it with uh, your dairy product of your choice or you can prepare it with water um so again to stay true to the original flavor of this hot chocolate i will be preparing mine with water so earlier we used the clearly i'm classy heart shaped mug for the coffee for the hot chocolate i'm going to go in with my owner's mug and spoon it's so cute and tiny this does come with a top if you guys didn't see my unboxing video again i will link it down below so it says pour microwave heat on high and it says three tablespoons of cool coffee click hot cocoa so i don't have a tablespoon back here i just have my <laughs> my tiny spoon that came um that came with my owner's mug so first let's put some hot water in the owner's mug and not make a mess on my table doing it we'll get into the asmr y'all okay now they said three tablespoons i mean each is own usually when i make my hot chocolate i will make it with water because like i said your girl's selectively lactose um and I don't really put sugar in it. I don't feel like I need to put sugar in hot chocolate. I may put marshmallows in it, but this is the best of both worlds because it does have marshmallows already in it. I'm going to add as much hot cocoa powder as I want. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six. Oh God! I added six scoops of the hot chocolate, the rich and creamy milk chocolate, hot chocolate with the decadent melting marshmallows in my owner's mug full of water, and I'm going to stir it. Okay, so I think it's mixed thoroughly enough, and I still see the marshmallows. You guys see the marshmallows? A little bit of marshmallows. Okay, so this is me. First impression, trying the Cool Coffee Clicks Rich and Creamy Milk Chocolate Hot Chocolate with Decadent Melting Marshmallows. Ooh, I really like this. Um, for me to have put six tiny, tiny spoonfuls of this powder in this mug, it's very flavorful. The hot chocolate is... Oh, I really... Hold on. I got a marshmallow. Okay, I like this. I'm going to tell you why. The powder is potent enough because I use a little bit of it because I didn't bring back a big spoon. It's potent enough for you not to need to add any sugar, but it's not overly sweet, if that makes sense. I, if there's anything I hate, it's when I go to make a beverage, in this example, like hot chocolate, and again, I don't personally add sugar to my hot chocolates anyway, but it's so sweet, so sweet. This is, the sweetness level is appropriate. I feel like, People who like really sweet things would like this and people who don't like really sweet things would like this. I definitely appreciate the middle level of sweetness that this has. The chocolate flavor is very rich. Very, very rich. Because sometimes, sometimes when you be making hot chocolate, especially when you make it with water, it be tasting like air. Like an aftertaste of chocolate. This chocolate is very rich and the marshmallows the marshmallows definitely are melting i know when i usually have traditional marshmallows with my hot chocolate um it takes a little bit of it takes a minute for it to dissolve but they just melt in your mouth like butter 
Oh. I really like the hot chocolate. I really like the hot chocolate and I really like the coffee. Like so far, so far, the products are hidden because it's one thing for you to have cute packaging. It's another thing for you to even sell cute merchandise. But if you're advertising coffee and hot chocolate, especially coffee, people do not play about their coffee. You have to back up your claims and I am very much so enjoying these products. Comment down below how you guys take your coffee. Comment down below, are you guys a hot chocolate drinker? If so, do you guys do it with marshmallows, do it without marshmallows? Do you guys add like cinnamon, add whipped cream? Oh, I should add whipped cream. Also like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and again, everything I have mentioned in the video will be linked in the description box down below. And I will see you guys very shortly in my next video. Everybody, stay blessed.